Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are so glad that you are here with us today, and the spring is here. It's getting warmer outside, and so beautiful, all the green as I was driving in this morning and just seeing fresh growth. It was beautiful. So last month, we talked about quality of character, and we talked about choosing friends and connecting with people that have good character, because when we hang out with people who have good character, it starts to rub off on us, and we can grow in our good character and become a better version of ourselves. And that should be our life goal, to always try to be better and grow more. So we talked about some characteristics like perseverance, honesty, discipline, patience, wisdom, responsibility, courage, loyalty, and compassion. And we talked about finding people and thinking about people who have these qualities. You know, it's okay to have friends who are a little rough around the edges, but if we hang out with them all the time, we will start to become like those friends instead of encouraging them to have strong, good character like we have. So we want to really build strong relationships with people with good character, and we want to be people with good character. Now, in order to build on that in terms of a relationship, it means that our relationships need to have a solid foundation. So I brought a little something here today. I'm gonna move, migrate a little bit back here. And we are going to talk about foundations. Now for just a minute, we're gonna use our imagination and I have just become an amazing architect. And I have dreamed up this amazing, um, beautiful thing I'm going to build that people will come from all over the world to see. And so I have a little, um, you know, prototype of what I'm going to build that is going to inspire people for greatness and for beauty. And this is my prototype right here. I think I'm going to call it the Eiffel Tower. And I have decided that when it's finished, it's a little leaning, it's trying to be the leaning tower of Pisa, but it's the Eiffel Tower. Um, I've decided when it's finished, it's going to be around 984 feet tall. That means about 90 stories. The base along here, I expect is gonna be 328 feet wide. And if my calculations are correct, and I'm a pretty amazing architect, so I think my calculations will be correct, this should end up weighing, are you ready? 10,100 tons. So in order to have such an amazing structure, it needs to have a foundation underneath it that can support it. So I brought some different things today that we're gonna try and make a good foundation. Now I, I, I know that I need its base to be about six, for this little prototype, to be about six inches. And so I put a little square here, a little six inch square. So the first thing I thought I would try, um, let's see, the first one I wanna try, oh, I got these from my yard. Actually, my son picked them up for me. He cleaned them because I said, please make sure there's no bugs. But these are some fun little, we call them spike balls. They fall from a tree in my yard. So we're gonna kind of see if that would make a good, and, and I don't think, maybe if I put them, spread them out, I don't think these spike balls would make a good foundation for my Eiffel Tower. So we're gonna move those to the side. Now what about, what about something like some nice cotton balls? Here we go. Make a nice, you know, cushy foundation. I like to sleep on a cushy bed. Maybe a nice cushy foundation would be good for solid beauty to grow on. No, it just collapses. Under any kind of weight, under any kind of pressure, that would collapse. Not so good for a strong, beautiful life tower. All right, here's another option. Sorry to the janitor. We're gonna try 
going to try some delicious cornflakes. Let's see if, if cornflakes make a good foundation. No. They crunch. They separate. I bet if you add a little rain, because sometimes it rains in Paris, they're just going to dissolve and be a mess. So the foundations that we build our relationships on in order to support us through our life. You were made for greatness. And so you are going to be something that displays the greatness of God. And so therefore the connections, the things in our foundations need to be able to support our greatness. They can't be just so soft that anything just kind of pulls us apart and just makes us crumble. They can't be, our relationships can't be built on spiky negativity. If you connect with someone out of a negative experience, or they're the kind of people that you, they're prickly, you're worried that you're going to offend them at everything you say, they're not so helpful either. You know, a catapult is always a good thing to have around. So we'll just like, you know, to negativity, we're just going to kind of, it's not going to work. But we're just going to send negativity away. We don't want that to be in our foundation to build our life upon. And flaky, flaky friends, flaky people, when life gets hard, we can't depend on them. We need to be able to depend on the people in our foundation, the relationships that we built. So, coming back, leaving our little lab, coming back here, when we are building relationships, we need to think about these quality of character and then we need to connect with people in a solid way so that our relationship is not just one thing here or one thing there and definitely not negative. And it starts with communication. The foundation in our relationships starts with talking and connecting so that people know who you are. They know your heart. And so when we talk with people and we connect with people, then we start to build relationships, maybe built on um, our passions, things we like to do together, things we're just, we feel strongly about. Then we start to build this relationship. So I want to encourage you, as you're looking forward to the summer, summer's time where you hang out with friends and you maybe meet some new friends, maybe you meet a significant other that you start to crush on and that starts to grow a little bit. As you're building these relationships, I want to encourage you to think about, do they have quality of character? Will they have my back? Will they be a flaky friend? Will they just be a fluff ball? Are they going to be a spike ball that's just negative and I have to like watch everything I say? Or is it going to be a solid foundation that is someone that I can build my life with and have support me when times get difficult. So this month, be thinking about this. And as we move into the summer, who do I want to surround my life with? Who do I want to build my life with? Because friendships and relationships matter. So we're going to have some discussion questions to be thinking about and talking about with your mentors. Question number one, what are some ways that you can build a healthy foundation in your relationship with your friends. You need a plan, you need some ideas. So I want you to think about some ways and discuss with your mentors how you can build a good foundation in your relationships. Number two, if you realize that the people you hang out with do not have good character or the foundation of your relationship is not healthy, what are some ways that you can shake it up, like we talked about with the Etch-A-Sketch. You start building a relationship, you start building a beautiful structure, and you realize, this isn't good. I need to shake it up, I need to start again. And sometimes you can start again with a friendship, but sometimes you need to get out the catapult and move on, because that relationship is just gonna keep dragging you down into a negative space. So discuss with your mentor, maybe a plan of if, you have a friend or someone that's really gotten close to you that you realize, I don't want to build relationship with this person. What is a healthy plan of putting up some boundaries and maybe having some distance? Thank Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Les. I hope everyone is taking notes and when you are out there talking to your mentors, discuss how you can stretch 
that friendship that you have or the relationship that you have. We all need good relationship in this life mm -hmm. that can build us and we also become like a builder yeah. in someone's life, right? Um, what we want to do is this, uh, you know, um, this week uh, when you go back to your mentors, some of your mentors may not have your kids here. So what we are going to do is like a post all these materials, the videos, the material that uh, Dr. Cal I mean, Kelly Venable talked about. We will bring all of those into one place. We will send it over to all you family coaches. You can take time to meet with your mentees and share the video that Dr. Liz shared with us this morning. It's going to be posted on our YouTube page. You should be able to get that over there. If you haven't subscribed again, go ahead and subscribe. In the meantime, you know, help us to find some good family coaches. We are definitely looking for in the next, you know, 60 days, we need to onboard 100 more family coaches and 100 more, um, you know, workplace mentors. It's going to be fun. We are so looking forward to it. As we talked about, in the next year, we would, between now and next year, we would have close to 2,000 kids onboarded into this program. Wow. And we also, what we have done, uh, Dr. Les, is that we have prepared the schedule for next year. So in order to make it easy for you, family coaches and the kids and the workplace mentors, we have blocked the third Saturday of every month. So just in case if you're planning your trip and if you're not even able to make it, just know that after July, what you get as a schedule, it worked really well because uh, even the Easter, mm -hmm. even the Christmas, uh, even the uh, Thanksgiving, it all fell outside the border of that third week yeah. that we picked it up to uh, run this time. So from July onwards, it's standard. Third Saturday of every month is when we will meet. But in the meantime, we wish you really well. We also congratulate all the new kids that are going into college this fall. We are so happy for you. Thank you all the family coaches for being so patient with us. And we will see you next month. In the meantime, you can get the help you need. The, the room monitors are out there to help you. If you don't remember your breakout room, you don't really need to worry. Click on the chat button, which is on the right hand side top, and you can ask for help. And one of the room monitors will be more than happy to help you, or Miss Navia should be able to help you. See you next time. Bye.